AI means artificial intelligence, wake up call. So, which is embedded with a system and it accumulates all sorts of data from your real life. And it's a kind of live stream. It takes and it gives some kind of signal that when I need to get up in the morning, how much sleep I really need based on my past records. So what is the difference between AI driven or AI enabled wake up call and manually operated call? Manually operated call is you need to tell that alarm clock every time you need to set for every day. There is no kind of streaming or self-streaming. But here we see that they take the data from our real life for every day. Whatever is happening with me, going to work, what time, what are the meeting schedule, maybe self-driving car. And that self-driving car is also capturing lots of data. And that data gives us that what are the obstacles. After a couple of minutes, I will give how complexity that can be if some certain thing doesn't go smoothly. So AI-driven or enabled knowledge makes us intelligent and far more flexible than manual systems. This is not just only I'm talking about alarm clock, but there are several things. So there are a combination of linear versus nonlinear. Linear means from one point to another point you go. Nonlinear means there is a zigzag. Zigzag can happen in our economy, what is happening with the application of endorsement of AI versus or AI with Internet of Things. If we don't regulate those kind of applications, what makes our life every day, we see the Google, Alexa, Siri. But if we don't intervene on the regulation and the policy, set of policy, but there are policies all throughout because uh, you know the couple of weeks ago, Google announced there is an ethical panel and then after two, one week, I think two, three days ago, they canceled that proposition. So how will you do that? It is with our security system or it is invading our security. Data needs to be regulated. So what data? The most interesting job is data scientists. So you get that whole data, you make a small sample size. From that sample size, you do the, your projections or whatever. So whatever, you have, if you have one terabyte data, what driverless car used to take while driving through? One terabyte data, also you need to bring with that small sample size and analyze. I will tell you a little bit later that whether is it sustainable or not. So ethics is a philosophical thought. Ethics not about solving problems, but asking questions. And asking questions over time means you are approaching that nonlinearity, which are coming from all the topics, all the subjects. So AI needs to be enabled or integrated with the topics, subjects, and expertise from those subjects like philosopher, mathematician. India invented zero. And then we saw that uh, many mathematical novelties over the time and still we are watching or experiencing. My proposition is we need to have another kind of invention of E, M, e equal to mc square or zero or something else. So if you see that red and blue, these two lines, are random variables. It's called systemic risk because last 20 years I'm in the field of risk management, so, so I know the how systemic risk works. So, something exogenous random variable come to your system in the name of disruption or in the name of AI or in the name of whatever and make it disrupted. And then if I control, if we control that, we mitigate that, then we are talking about sustainability, otherwise, there are a lot of pitfalls. 
So a meshnik systems actually based on the affordance of reasoning. Moral reasoning is one of the components. Why I'm saying reasoning? Because today's educational system, whatever we are studying, whatever we are teaching, everything would be changed very soon. 2019 years, whatever happened, next 10 to 20 years, 10 times or 20 times innovation is going to happen. So in that time, there are huge AI pitfalls or risk AI driven risk will be, we need to conf confront. They say, we will rate your system out of AAA, B. what Moody's, SNP, Standard and Poor is to give now. As a mathematician, I really, I little bit understand how you calculate that probability of default or distance to default. If your distance to default is 20 years, that means you are AAA. If your distance to default is tomorrow, like t, then you are junk. But how you calculate the distance to default? How you calculate the probability of space? Machine will not obey those kind of principles. So for probability of default or distance to default also needs to be changed very soon. When they will give a systemic AI system kind of ability to reason and give a rating, how comfortable they are. So we don't have, at the moment, in our society, code of ethics, laws, government accountability in the state level, corporate transparency, huge corruption, and also the capability in all terms. So AI needs to be regulated and this regulation, I could say in my word, AI needs to be, or AI ethics needs to be mathematized. How that is? That also give the question of ethics and conduct. Like a likelihood severity. X axis is the severity, likelihood is Y. The probability and the impact. My proposition is, we have a post-action reflection by the AI systems on the consequences of the action, learning, and decision-making process. Jean-Claude Falmania, the philosopher Jacques Derrida, uh, then Michel Foucault introduced problematics. So many things are embedded or could be embedded in the AI systems to make more ethical. So there is no definition as such of AI ethics, but so machine could say very soon, when I don't know, because uh, this is a question mark, that no, I must not do this. So they will not obey you. So I'll give you now a couple of, there are humongous amount of dilemmas. Humongous, so our every day is fulfilled with the dilemmas. Even the, even the uh, discussion of a meeting, or corporate meeting, or in a lecture, a student asking a teacher a question, or a teacher is asking student several questions to test their ability. So there are dilemmas. In that dilemmas, one could say, in many countries, they say, kill the old man, save the children. For other countries, like Switzerland, it's not allowed. You cannot kill anybody. But, and also you cannot prioritize whom to kill faster, or whom to save, whom to kill. So that kind of things, driverless car, Tesla, other uh, companies, big names, are already explaining, or in, in their own terms. So I say there is a linear diagram, and there's a non-linear diagram. Non-linear diagram, again, that exogenous random variable come to your system in the name of systemic risk and make, it, make you disrupted. Your decision process is also kind of in the loop of disruption. Human conscience and morality is independent. So the philosophy of conscience is a pluralistic notion. Say for instance, one doctor might go through for the abortion, in the example of abortion, they say, 
okay, my, in my religious belief, it is void. It cannot be done or otherwise. But in some doctor, they could say, no, I will prioritize first the women right. So I'm talking about the ethics, the contrary of conscience and morality. Same thing, but a little bit different. Another dilemma is what pedestrian or the people with the dilemma who are actually, but that reaction most probably not opacity of the car's decision making. Because car is, if it's a machine, if it's a, another human being, or if it's a something else, this collinearity is also unknown. Every case, there is a lot of unknowns. So ethical calculus needs to be defined and with the algorithmic morality with the car. It's not a very easy job. It's almost more than rocket science. But who will do that? Philosopher, mathematician, sociologist, Nobel laureate economists? You never know. We don't know. That needs to be evolved and very, very artistic way. Nine-year-old daughter or son, when it asked to one of the AI assistants that it's raining, grass is wet and flooded, as I can see, the AI assistant will say, yes, you are right. When she or he just changed the question sometime later, Grass is wet, flooded, is it raining? Today, even the AI assistant or AI enabled device cannot answer this. So we are in very far from the pluralistic notion of ethics. Harvard psychologist Daniel Gilbert, uh, actually he is very popular for his comment on end of history, but for me, I think it's an illusion because biology brain and body in this planet is limited. Whatever innovation, whatever invention we do, we do cancer cell research, genome research, gut research, everything we are doing. AI, by, by the way, AI is helping on those research. But still, we are limited in this planet. Sun may die very soon or very late. Microbe will be still performing millions of microbes, but human will no, no more here. So the planet and the planetary age, with our aging, with the time and time and space, we are limited, but not machine. Elon Musk uh, tweeted or make a, some kind of comment that immortal machine will be the dictator of our society. So the mortal and immortal, there is a contrary. But so that's why I'm saying that we should not compete with machine. It's never be machine versus human. So we need to collaborate. Once we collaborate, there is a human upload. Because human will be with more capacity, more accountability, and also the trust with the machine, because machine will think. If the development of AI is not just a fresh phase transition, if it's more of evolution, I think the risk of AI or AI pitfalls can be mitigated. But can be mitigated if we have the there are a lot of nonlinear scientists, nonlinear mathematicians. If we have those kind of things in place and embedded in the, in the, in the uh, AI device or AI processes, one of the things is measuring the heterogeneity. I will give you a very good example for the driverless car. Again, there is a, I am putting a couple of dilemmas. So driverless car is a most known dilemma people are facing. So they have a signal from many directions. 
So where we are going to drive the driverless car? In Chinese and Indian road? Or here? Or here? So the heterogeneity means in the market, you cannot replace the human or the, the, the labor or the labor force or even the population of India and China overnight. So you need to again collaborate. So human drive and the machine drive. That is called heterogeneity. So my final comment is, we need to be, human need, needs to be brandable. Brandable means beyond or apart from marketing gimmick, it's more of intrinsic value we have. Then AI will, or AI ethic, or ethical AI will protect our job, our innovations, and most important part is they will help us to calculate our economic risk capital, how much capital we need for our future, future uncertainty. Then our future will be more promising and with the power of you know, imaginations. Thank you.